The Geo Studio 2004 slogan of one model, one tool, many analyses reflects the integration potential of the software. An integrated analysis is where results obtained using one software product are used as input for another product. For instance, you can use sigma finite element stresses in slope to compute stability factors. Quake can be used with slope to determine the factor of safety with time during an earthquake event. By integrating seep results in a slope analysis, you can model transient pore water pressure conditions such as rapid drawdown and ensure you are accurately considering the effect of highly irregular saturated and unsaturated conditions. With the GeoStudio environment, it's straightforward to develop and analyze an integrated analysis, and there are many other ways the individual products can be integrated. Here are the results obtained for an integrated analysis using SEEP and SLOPE W. Since the pore water pressures are used by SLOPE, the seepage analysis must be completed first. You can then add the SLOPE W analysis to the existing SEEP W project. Both the input and output files for the integrated analysis will be contained in a single GeoStudio file. The icons found in the analysis toolbar can be used to toggle between the slope W and seep W applications. The finite element mesh and the soil geometry are shared between the two applications. Since two materials were used in seep, two materials already exist in slope. You simply need to select a soil model and define the slope specific soil parameters for each of the two materials. In addition to defining the slope property information, you need to let the software know that the pore water pressures will be from a seep W finite element solution. You can use an externally referenced seepage result from a GeoStudio project with a different name, or you can use the internal seepage results. Now we need to define what type of slip surface option to use. One of the new options available in version 6 is the entry and exit method. For this method, use the Draw Slip Surface Entry and Exit menu to specify the locations where the slip surface can enter and exit the ground surface. Use the mouse to define the slip surface extents, and a red line is drawn along the ground surface as a visual indicator of the entry and exit range. Once the stability analysis definition is complete, the program can compute the factor of safety using the seep results to determine the pore water pressures that exist at the base of each slice. In contour, the critical slip surface will appear along with the perched water table as it existed in the seep analysis.